Mrs. Irene Patrick Obogu, Executive Director, Disability Rights Advocacy Center, DRAC, has called on government to dedicate more resources towards social protection of women and girls with disability. She made this plea during the Break the Cycle Stakeholders Validation Meeting for the baseline assessment of the socioeconomic status of women and girls with disabilities held in Abuja. The government needs to dedicate more resources towards social protection of women and girls with disabilities. Um, it's important that existing social protection programs target the vulnerable, especially women and girls with disabilities because of their vulnerability. And communities also support these people to be able to live um, meaningful and productive lives. Ms. Beatrice Mude, Women Leader, Joint National Association People with Disabilities, Genapad, says 80% of the public violates them, not only sexually, but mostly through attitudinal violence and deprivation of access to public facilities or programs. She therefore called for adequate sensitization and continuous advocacy as a way out to this scourge against people living with disabilities. Yeah, the findings here shows that majority of them who are even being violated don't even know they are violated. Mostly when it comes to do with attitudinal. In the area of attitudinal, people just talk to you anyhow, behave anyhow to you because you're disabled. You ask questions, no response. Meetings that connote women goes on, you are not invited. And even when you go there, they look at you like a beggar. They'll be like, these meetings is not for uh, disabled or not for beggars. Not minding the fact that you're a woman before you became disabled. Those are additional violence. My advice to the Nigerian government is to put in drastic measure to put an end to rape and violence against women and girls with disabilities. For his part, Mr. Tim Anebona, Executive Director, Global Agenda for Total Emancipation, GATE, and consultant in charge of the preliminary findings from the research, said the socioeconomic status of women and girls with disability remains a major challenge due to several limiting factors, adding that education and awareness creation remains the most effective key to combat the situation. I've recommended that the DRAC, the implementing agency, should close up with other agencies, should also get close with government, get close with security agencies, so that once those kind of issues happen, they will properly deal with it. But above all, education and awareness creation is the key to it. If you educate these people to understand safe places where they will stay so that they don't fall prey into this thing is the best thing. So that we now do more of prevention than curative at the end of it. Similarly, Mr. Lawrence Idemudia, Chief Social Welfare Officer, Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Services, Disaster Management and Social Development, said as a matter of urgency, government should create a commission for them so that cases affecting persons with disabilities can be taken there and treated appropriately. Government should, as a matter of urgency, create our commission. After they have passed our bill and the president have signed it into law, it should create a commission so that issue affecting affect persons with disabilities can be taken to great uh, condition. And then they must know that women and girls with disability are among the poorest and the poor so that more contribution okay, on them so that they will not be left while in poverty and other form of degradation in the society.